Hey everybody, Scavern Link here. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 The Royal, which is what they called it in Japan. Last time, quite a few things happened. We met a random dude, a suspicious individual, as we called him, uh, Yusuke uh, Kitagawa, and I guess we, that could extend to Mr. Madarame, and we went out to his exhibit, um, figured that uh, Madarame was plagiarizing his people's work and Yusuke was all like no that's not true you guys are lying it's fake fake false and then we uh our suspicions were nearly confirmed true whatever uh it was confirmed that hey there's a palace and we even checked out that little museum palace of Madarame's which is kind of spooky so all that's left before we make any concrete decisions of if we want to explore it or not we're gonna have to check out those rumors about Monorama, which is what we're doing today. Let's be tired of the happen today. You better not call it a day to rest. I was gonna read a book, bro. Let me read. Mm. And I can't make preparations either. Oh well. You got yourself an extra cutlass, buddy. You should feel proud of yourself. Let's call it a day and go to bed. Yeah, I'll go to sleep. But what On said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Probably, actually. <sighs> I knew it. It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while while shitty adults do whatever they want. It makes me sick. I I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take him down. Uh, how long I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. We're moving on to the 17th. It's Tuesday the 17th! The unluckiest day of the year! Alright, I contacted I contacted Kitagawa Kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks! Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm really supposed to do. I'm supposed to do as a mo as an art model, though. Uh, cover yourself in paint? Can you at least try to take this seriously? Look, you don't gotta go out all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, Remember? That is true. It sounds like Kitagawa Kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa kun He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. She got old of Mishima today, and it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later. Crap, man, she's on to us. She's pinpointing us down. We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry, I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Don't you think Kitagawa kun has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Something seemed different about her to you? Did she cut her bangs? Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. Sounds like a plan. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. 
Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Is there a problem? No, not really. Well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. He's invested in the arts! You hear her? Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What a effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? A cat! This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Anything, man. Anything could be in there. <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Uh... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Kitagawa-kun. Then why are you sticking around? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. You're okay with this? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Yuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me, I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! What?! Nude?! 
Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no! We are not done talking here! Hey, what should we do? We gotta leave, bro. We gotta skedaddle! Or we can knock him out while he's hunting for his... I almost said toothbrush. I was gonna say paintbrush. Yo, no, maybe he is hunting for a toothbrush. He'll paint the nude photo with the toothbrush. Let's just pretend that that's how the cannon works. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. With the power of nude photos. New paintings, I should say, not photos. Don't give up so easily! Huh? Is she done being a model? A cat? Moron. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. How dare that, Yusuke? The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi, but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna drop it. You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No, it is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too, before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Probably. No way. Hell no. We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see. I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Taikyu building access way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Oh my god. It's a woman with the camera. Oh no. Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. 
But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? We don't care about art. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? See you then. I guess we should go home for today. And we ain't gonna question the woman with the camera. Typical persona style. <sighs> Whatever, I still can't forgive him. Demanding of to demanding the paint lady on nude, then claiming to report us to the police. It's blackmail, I tell ya. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Nakanohara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Ooh, more texts. I love texts. I found something out, something insane about Matarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Matarame stealing his work. That's unforgivable. That journalist was looking into Matarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Katagawa Kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on an edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarame is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Hmm. Can I go down and maybe do something? I can! Let's see if we can get our kindness up a little bit, you know? It'll be our fun little side thing. Hey. Yeah, we're gonna read Zoro the Outlaw. Make sure you close up. I will make sure we close up, buddy. Don't worry about it. Although his opponent was a true villain, he still behaved as a perfect gentleman. Yep. Make sure you pay an extra close attention. Yeah, you already said that, buddy. Guess what? I just finished the novel about how Zoro is freaking amazing. So you finished reading Zoro the Outlaw. Zoro was not only strong in mind and body, but he also cared greatly to, for the common people. Hmm, seems like you really understand the qualities that made Zoro so great. Looks like we got something here. Nice! The kindness! I am now considerate! Alright. <sighs> I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. Uh, level 2 kindness. There are some things, if you recall, that actually do open up with that, but we probably won't be able to actually, you know, get to that new stuff before, uh... What am I trying to say? What am I trying to say? There's stuff that opens up now, but, uh, we probably won't be saying that for the time being because we got a job to do. Don't forget, from today, today on, our hideout, our hideout is going to be at the Shibuya Passageway. Oh, that reminds me, Mishima said Nakanohara should be in Shibu Shibuya too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you, Morgana. I get you. Yo. We're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Mishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara. Natsuiko Nakanohara. The one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. An artist by the name of Madarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil going to confess his master's secrets? His shadow did mention Madarame as well. 
I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right, we got some real proof of the plagiarism. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> I'd like to ask again, please make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitago Akun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice, but I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Let's save Yusuke. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitago Akun really feels. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Yay, new hideout. Here we go. My fellow thieves, welcome to our new hideout. Our target this time is Madarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. Yes. Madarame with a side of salt. Is that just the world we live in? Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. Yeah, Madarame's pa palace is for good boys and girls only. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? I doubt that, but my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means... June 5th. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? You got that right. 
Okay. This is the first job for high winds, so let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. Yay, they use the name! Your mission to change Madarame's, Madarame's heart has begun. You must steal his treasure by the deadline. We have 18 days to do so, which is plenty of time in my opinion. Special obstacles and palaces. Occasionally, you'll encounter palace obstacles that are impassable and require interacting with the target in the real world. You will need to leave the palace to find obstruction. Find the obstruction. Enter palaces quickly to find obstacles and triumph over challenges before the deadline. So we're gonna we're gonna hold a we're not gonna hold a meeting. We're gonna actually yes we'll hold a meeting. Okay. Let's he needs go. to pay for preying on other people's talents. This is our first job as the fan thief, so let's stay calm and act deliberately. The well then, let's go over how things are looking right now. Well, we ain't gonna know a damn thing unless we head on in. Let's start by investigating. It'd be great if we could do something about the shadows. Would it be better to try and not let them find us? Well, we're managing, but I don't think we gotta worry too much. Okay, That's just something's up for the time being. Yeah, damn right. Even kids? Uh, quit with the rumors. Damn, they really don't like us. Alright, let's okay, infiltrate let's this go. damn palace. I'm sure you already know this, but the first thing we need to do is secure an infiltration route. Then we send the calling card. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Anyway, let's get ready. Yeah. But first things first, uh... Damn, the game's doing it for me. I was gonna say, I'm gonna go to the velvet room, but uh, guess Justine's breaking it in. Our master would like a word with you. Come in. Oh, I love words. I love words. I live for words. <laughs> so you've come. Your rehabilitation seems to be going smoothly. Thanks to you. Excellent. I expect no less. I've prepared a special gift for you. I must reward such exemplary conduct. Use this power well. Traits. Every persona has a specific trait, each of which has a different effect. Some may decrease the cost of a skill or increase the power of a specific attribute. There are various benefits associated with using a persona's trait in battle. Be sure to take into account which actions will best utilize the trait. You can view details of a Persona's trait in the Persona status screen by pressing square. I did not use this feature at all. Or if I did, I didn't pay attention to it, really. It's really inconsequential at the end of the day. I'm pretty sure some elitists out there is going to be like, Oh, actually, the traits, like, they do a lot to effect. I mean, okay, they can be useful, but you can ignore them safely. They're more of a bonus than anything. Our master is extremely incredible, kind... It's extending incredible kindness. Shed tears of joy, inmate. <laughs> your personas are born from the masks of your heart. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You must master the inner workings of each persona to draw out his power. Do that and they will surely be of great use to you on your journey to re rehabilitation. Then, If you have other business, you may tend to it now. I did have business. I was gonna do some fusions, you know? Cause we, you know, we're a little bit more powerful. You certainly. Yeah. You wish to perform let's fusion. fuse. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, I think it's the slime. I see. A strong persona indeed. Ooh. It is a strong persona indeed. What was? I was gonna fuse the Succubus and Kate Sith, I believe. I think that's what I said. Oh, bro, A Andras. Dude. Asparagus? She's a... I remember Asparagus. Asparagus is one of my personal favorites, if not for... Something else. I don't know. The Onion Man. Uh, let's see, actually. I get some decent stuff. I think I'll do Kate Sith and the Succubus to make the... The Ame no Uzume, which is... It's a beast. At least they both get some stuff. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Yeah. Personas possess, or no, I you're not the wild one. Personas possess unique properties known as traits. 
Traits are capable of being inherited during a fusion. Should you make use of this properly, you could very well include with a, a nigh unstoppable persona. However, some special traits cannot be inherited. And in, in any case, only one trait can be inherited during a fusion, so choose carefully. Yeah. I never really cared. Uh, ooh, that's a nice trait, actually. It decreases SP cost of elect skills by half. I mean, we only have a Zeo, but still, that's not bad. Foul order. Um, electric bloodline, bloodline, that's the default. Uh, increases chances of inflicting burn after a baton pass. Increases chance of inflicting ailments after a baton pass. We only have one electric skill. I'm going to go for foul order. Odor, actually. And as for what I can include... Um... Huh. I could go for Agai for the extra the extra fire, you know. And I guess... I already have uh, Bareth for the physical skill. So I guess I could go for... I could go for... Uh, Sukakaja. new power? I wonder. Yeah, go ahead. My, my. My, my. This is amazing. Bye, Kate Sith and Succubus. I don't feel like it's necessary to, to show this cutscene all the time. So, we'll just skip from now on. Let's do something really cool. I am Ame no Zume. I shall be your new face. Now come, let us rejoice in the melody that draws forth true might. At least with the Kate Sith, I can actually get some skills. Behold, the lover's confidant is awakening your persona to empower. Yay! That means we get a free level up out of it. Which is nice. Now what if I take this and try to make something? Oh my gosh! Only leads to destruction. Holy crap! What kind of skills are those? Those are light skills. Or blessed skills, I should say. AKA light. Uh, medium blood? That's actually good. Especially for things that are weak. Like... Dude, that's good. Uh, can the slime make anything cool? Onion man, if I wanted to, but I don't want to make onion. Um, McCoy. You okay with this? The the weird looking thing. Uh, and Ellie Gore. Power only leads to destruction. So I'm gonna probably keep Gembu and the. And the angel for Eliore, because I want an Eliore. But Bareth, you, a Kodama, excessive power only terrible, but not impressive. We do have more slots though, so that's okay. Um, Kelpie, not terrible, nah. But not impressive. I can get rid of this thing for a slime. I'm not doing that, cause that ain't how I roll. All right. Finished. Done already. What? Yeah. I want to go no back. Slacking off. Familiarize yourself with the many facets of the heart that dwell within you. Doing so will propel you to greater heights to give you strength as you work toward your rehabilitation. Go forth. I have high expectations for you. Oh yes, because I am Igor and I smell funny. Hey! Hey, Joker! Come on. He freaking warped over the truck. What a god. What are you staying around for? Get with the program, all right? You're a vital member of the team here. Sorry, Morgana. Had a little bit of a blank. Let us continue forth for realsies this time. Focus. No more games. No more fooling around. I will kind of go over the basics, though. We're just going to kind of go through the Martians. Martians? The Martians, though. No. We're going to go through the motions, and we're just going to kind of retrace our steps a little bit. Start off by just kind of grabbing all this extra loot. I probably don't need it, but you know, it's an extra loot. Can't complain about that. Gonna grab you. And is there anything around here? Nope. So we're just gonna head down. Head down the usual way. Gonna grab you, grab the cork bark. I love the cork bark. It's my favorite item in the game, bro. Bad sculpture. You know, for being a museum, there sure are a lot of bad pieces of artwork. Hold on, Joker! It's an, it's an infrared laser device. Yeah, if we touch it, the security will increase. Come on, man. Hold on, there wasn't anything like this last time, though. The rumors might slowly be making Madarame become more wary of us. 
Joker. They're not easy to see, but you should be able to do it with your skill. You should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful. Infrared lasers. You can detect infrared lasers with third eye. If there's a wide enough gap, you can slip through by pressing X. This can also be done by holding X as you approach. But remember that you can only pass through there if there, if there is enough room. So thankfully, we can check through this and we can slide like a smooth criminal. Can't do this for everything, and I'm gonna want to start be care being careful because there are enemies around. So, gonna want to watch out for that. I can see it. Gonna want to hide in here. Uh, hide here, and can I please ambush this man, sir? I would like to kill you. Come on. There we go, finally! Why wouldn't you let me kill ya? Alright, got some new enemies here. Let's try Mazio just kinda see what happens. Oh no, he resists. What are we gonna do? We're dead. It is almost scary how good you are. Oh, let's switch to Ryuji. Tag it in. Gonna take that. Gonna press triangle on that one. Cause that's how we roll. I'm gonna start like going at it less and less for personas. I wanna grab. I might grab a cup or like yeah personas. I might go less and less as we go on, but okay. Um. Or I might do it occasionally, but I won't be going at it hard like I used to. Or like we did in Kamoshida's. I wish I had a partner working security with me. I wish so too, buddy. We all wish for that sometimes. I'll reveal your true form. Huh? Bam 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 bam. Bam 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 bam. Bam bam bam. Let's try a Magaru, maybe that'll help. Nope. Wait, what the hell am I doing? That's how it works, bro. I'm you with this one. I will talk. Let me your power. Well, I'll talk as if I won't lend my power to someone that's super lame. Don't tell me you're going to shoot that. You're not going to do that to me, are you? Hey, how about this? If you don't shoot me, then I'll kiss you. Not a bad deal, right? Um. Hmm. Have some self-respect. You don't need to tell me. I'm cute, so of course I have self-respect. Why are you so interested in me anyway? I'll go out with you just for today if there are no strings attached. I've got enough on my plate. Oh, then please don't fake it. You're all alone when you get home, am I right? Whoa! Hey, a hua hua pal hua po hua pal. I don't know. We just kind of roll with what we got. My power is incredible. I, I I don't mean to flex, but just just the way it is. Okay. Now, what does this thing have? I probably don't want to be standing out here in the open, but I mean, it is what it is. What kind of stuff you got? Agi, you're just a, you're just a normal, average fire persona. Nothing too crazy. Nothing bad, but like, nothing I would lose my marbles over. We're safe for the time being, so we're going to want to look around. Gonna want to go on the slippy slide, probably. I'm gonna ambush form. you. I'll reveal your true form. Hey, we got an explosive enemy. Exploded. Switch over to Ryuji. Captain Kid. Let's do it to Morgana. Whoa, don't want to say that like that. It's okay, guys. Not enough to kill, though. That's the thing. I guess I might be a little bit on the weak side. Well, I'm not weak. I'm not underleveled or anything. You smoke that goddamn cigar and you're gonna like it. At least the experience is decent and the money's good, too. That enemy was really weak. I'm gonna grab you. A tin clasp. I'm gonna grab you. Yeah, sorry if I use my third eye a whole lot. I just don't want to. I want to make sure I don't miss anything. That's all. 
I'm self-conscious. That's not a good word to use. Not self-conscious. I'm just paranoid that I'm gonna miss something. Hey, asparagus! You're here, actually. Um, if I didn't know better. Yeah. Um, I do like you, asparagus, so... I'm gonna talk to you, asparagus. Well, we must talk to each other for I know nothing about you, after all. I believe this could be... Sexual harassment?! Um... I apologize. So I acknowledge your integrity, no matter the crime, humans treat it more lightly if the perpetrator is a minor, do they not? Ah, uh, so I suppose you commit such extreme acts because you know it won't be punished harshly. I don't want to say that! I'm sorry. Yeah. You come with me, asparagus. You're a cool one. But you're an ice blade. You're ice blade? Why? I feel like I got caught saying blade before. The Saint Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Sorry. Sorry about that, guys. Right. I can feel it. Fusing one thing with another. And I just realized that this is a warped door. That's kind of cool looking. Um, we're gonna want to use our uh, grappling hook to uh, zip hook, line, and sink them. Simple as that. But now I can go ahead and push this thing that I tried to push earlier. And hey, we have a shortcut now. I can Ain't that lovely? It. I can feel it. I'm Batman. I mean, he might be Batman, actually. Um, how do I want to go about tackling this? There's a hidey hole right here. I'll reveal your there we go. Form. More of you guys, huh? Go down. Go down. Uh, let's just switch to Ryuji. Ah, uh, he's at 69 thing my bobbers. Ah, uh -huh. that's really funny. It's quite silly if you think about it. It's quite humorous if you're so inclined. Oh no, there's more. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna give you the good old Aggie. Um, Ryuji, you don't have to use Garu. You can just shoot the Hua Pao. The Hua Po over there. And then we can pass it to Morgana. And An really isn't doing a gosh darn thing, is she? Thanks. She's just staying there like a pretty girl. Just staying there and enjoying the show. All out attack. We ought to get something good out of this. Morgana, you're getting all the... You're getting the mission accomplished all the time. 104 experience. Ooh, now that's good. All right. Not a level up, but. They were nothing. Oh, that's why it was a double attack. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Uh, if two enemies are close to each other, it'll just count it as one fight. So it just, you know, saves your time, I guess. Oh shit! <laughs> oh no! Five percent. What am I gonna do? Hey. We'll be in the unknown territory once we get past here, right? The security will probably get a little more fierce as well. Make sure you don't touch anything or run into any of the displays, alright? What are you looking at me for? I can feel it. Uh, you should look at me. I freaking ran into the security like a freaking dingus. And that's some scary noise, bro. That's supposed to represent the pupils, I believe. Let's go through this nice juicy door. Hmm. I should not say it like that, but whatever floats your bill. <laughs> Damn, it looks like we ain't gonna get through here. You're goddamn right we ain't gonna get through there. Uh, let's see. Nothing. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Got some more of that stuff. I almost freaking ran into it again, but... Cognition here. Ah, oh, nice. We can use this as a safe room. Yay, we got a safe room. Let's make a note of this place so we can come back here later. As per usual, I will be saving in safe rooms. Well. And, uh, I didn't mean to talk to the team. What does Ryuji have to say, though? So the shack turned into a museum. I don't know nothing about art, but... How about all the gold stuff, huh? I'll just add this. I will just add this. I'm gonna save in here because, you know, it is a palace after all. I don't want to lose too much progress if I die. I don't want to redo, like, freaking hours of work. Okay, let's get back to exploring. Yeah. 
Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's see. Let's see how we can do this here. Enemy ahead. Yikes. Be careful. Don't want to be out in the open. Oh, it's a red one. Nice. Typically, red ones are not going to join you. That's just to be expected. But, you know, it is what it is. But I think I know what they might be. Oh. See you guys. You're an Aggie. Let's go. What's also weak? Oh, you're also weak for that. Okay. Uh, let's try, uh... Let's try a win on these guys. No? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna lucky punch ya. Oh! Damn. Let's punch him again. I missed. Perhaps Agi is with you guys? Nope. Perhaps electric? Damn. Yikes, nuclear! Oh, we go with nuclear, bro. Elect wall. Aw, oh, man. Too bad we have a fire on our side. Nah, I know the solution. Uh, we're gonna wanna switch to... Uh... Yeah, sure, asparagus. You're the solution, probably. Uh, well, you're not the... You're not the solution, but... Yeah, it, it technically works. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? It's probably like Psychic or something like that, or Darkness. Damn it. Why did I get rid of Arson? I made a horrible mistake! Uh, Ryuji... Give him the headbutt! He's resistant. Okay. Alright, uh, fall asleep. Yeah, that's right. Bam! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! Took care of that. How's this neck knock break, bro? It don't add up. 1,482 money, though. Ooh. Ooh, that's some good stuff. Oh, whoa. Well. Gotta be careful here. Show me your true Yikes, form. that's a tough one. That's a toughie. Uh, okay, I know what you are. I know what you are, and uh, it kind of freaks me out. Okay. Dang good. What about wind? Ooh. Yeah, get me here or what? Now, I think these guys are actually resistant to physical attacks, so... Yeah, ooh. Shock. Let's go. Um, you should check its affinity. Yeah, thank Morgana. Um, let's go for Mr. Barrett, and I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it all with the cleave. Yeah, I knew it. Double shot. Yikes! Holy! All right. Uh. Morgana, you should probably heal everybody up, you know, Sorry. just to be on the safe side. Someone else can use an item. Um, Ryuji, you can be our item guy. Oh, I got those beef pyrogrations. Um, that guy I have a revival bead, so... We're not... We ain't dead. Okay. Okay, gonna have to be careful here. Um, alright. Who has the powers? Uh... Probably the Zoomy is probably going to be my best bet, so I could just kind of... Guess magic. We're just going to have to use magic. Oh no, not the taunt. Haha, you missed. Eat that. Um, Morgana, you can heal on. I hate these guys. These guys are the scum of the earth. They stink. But yeah, uh, magic should do the trick. Nothing too crazy, though, I will say. You gotta watch out for that double shot. That can kill someone in an instant. Kill someone in an instant. And that's like, that's the thing you want to worry about. Um, We're good on health. Where did my revival beat go? There it is. Okay. Using it. Shame I have to use these both on this fight, but hopefully he doesn't strike him again, or else we're gonna be in real danger. Oh, Ryuji's pissed. 
Uh, Morgana, you can heal yourself. But yeah, that this guy's dangerous. He's scary. We're using range. I don't know what that's. Oh, it's oh, when you're enraged, your defense is like crap. So that's he's gonna kill Ryuji then if I don't do this. Damn! Never mind. Ryuji's a Chad. That guy's actually pretty good. Um, I think he'll make you immune to uh, physical attacks if you actually do a Sudi Yorishiro. At least I'm level 14 now. At the end of the day, it was worth it. Okay. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. It's just how I roll. I just I say it like that, guys. It's just, it's just how I how I do things in the world. That's all there is to it. Um, I do know that I can, in fact, hop over this. Ooh. And we also got a, uh, little something that we can, uh, grapple hook to, which I actually... Oh, what an idea. Where's the lead? I don't know, man. Oh, oh, I remember. I remember. See, my memory might be a little bit hazy here and there, but it's nothing that I can't handle. Shit, what? Don't fudge! Ow. Ow, thankfully, we don't have anything to worry about. To be fair, so... We're fine. We're okay. I was scared if it was gonna be the buff guy, otherwise we would be totally screwed. Um... Alright. Um... I'm gonna burn you. Give you the good old one, too. He's afflicted with burn. Uh, you can get the technical off of that. Morgana. That doesn't do much for us, but it's something. I'll burn you. We can't do any baton passes while we wait, so we're just gonna have to. We're just gonna have to roll with it. Bam! Ouch! Ouch! It's still early game. I remember I can't like get away with like reckless behavior. It just don't work like that. Alright, um... I can't be Tom Pass. Uh, I'm gonna burn you too. Scaru you. Alright, um, going for another Aggie. At least you're not Persona 3 where you crash every time I use it. Um, Zio. There we go. At least we took care of that. No problem. 120 experience. Now that's what I'm talking about. More level ups for everyone. Check out this new skill. Ryuji got adverse resolve. Increases critical rate when surrounded. That could have been useful like 10 seconds ago. But you know what? That's fine. That's alright. That's more of situational though. So when we run out of spaces for skills, I know which one's getting the boot. Um, alright. Um... You can open this door, though. That explains everything. Um, that's a vent we can't use. Uh, Joker. There's a chest over here, though. An atom ring. Oh, that's actually good. That's actually really good. Um, let's look at a fanny pack breathling. You don't have anything yet, so let's see what you got. Uh, Atom Ring. Uh, for now, um, an Ace Cap. Sharp student. Um, Ace Cap, or Atom Ring. Uh, small ring charged with by nuclear power. I forgot who I usually kept this on, but whoever had it, they kept it, I kept it on them for Endgame. I'm gonna put that on Morgana for the time being. I have something. I'll probably take it off him once, uh, once we get further on, but for now, Morgana can have it. Um... I might have screwed up by jumping down here. Just a hunch. Alright, well. Ain't no thang. Ain't no problem at all. Cause we can just do... Bam, it's just two sh two skips in a poodle away. Whatever that meaning means. You get what I mean? Get what I'm saying? Get what I'm throwing down? Alright. Yes, we're gonna wanna be over here. Get it on. 
I get it. There's a chest. A fire magatama. Dude, it's just like Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. It's just like my favorite game, Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. The one game I spent 170 hours on. Not me. I actually had a friend who did that. Which, you know, more power to you. You like Nocturne. That's A-OK. -okay. I think Nocturne's pretty good. Focus. I ain't got no beef with that. Um, we could do this. And now we got ourselves a shortcut. But first, give me that fine washi. Give me the fine wash. Anyway, I assume there's probably going to be some equipment for us to buy sooner than later. So, that's good. I got an at notification. What did my friend just say? I'm going to switch free trial ends in one hour. Yeah, who cares? I can feel it. I don't like Among Us, guys. I make jokes, but I don't like Among Us. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, shoot. I know probably I'm going to want to... Um... Yeah, you know what? Well, we'll have plenty of time when I'm thinking of what I'm thinking about right now. Never mind, we're okay. We're about to climb a floor, guys. We're doing it. And there's vending machines, too. This museum has everything. Um, I'm probably gonna want to heal just in case I accidentally get ambushed again. Um, I have life stones. Let's just throw one on Morgana right now. Ooh. It's somewhere. Let's see. Look at this progress, guys. We did it. We did the first floor. Now we're going to the second floor. And then the third floor. And then the fourth floor. Ooh. We still got quite a ways to go. Um, this... Damn it, it ain't opening. Ooh, I remember this. Hey, wait a second. You're just gonna ignore that golden sheen? Hmm. Look at that luster. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to... Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Stay back! Oh no, I tripped the security. Ah, uh, you were the one making us be careful, too. So, what do you want to do? Run out of here? No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on! Joker's not trapped! Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. You got it, Mr. Morgana! Alright, so now we gotta, we gotta look around, see our, see our surroundings. Things else. There are some very powerful enemies here, so I do not recommend taking them on by yourself because we are all alone in the world. I know it's sad to think about, but that's just the way things are. All right, we're gonna need to be careful here. I can see it. Um, we're fine right now. Gonna need to look at our surroundings. I do not intend to fight this guy. No one come over here. No one come over here. No one come over here. This guy has a sad life. Sad tale. Um, doesn't seem like there's anything worthwhile over here, so we're gonna hightail it out of here. I think we're gonna want to actually go on the other side. Or, ah, oh, damn it, there is something. There is something. Never mind. All right, I'm gonna wait for this guy to pass over. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something to him. I could ambush. I don't want to do that though. I'm all alone. Gonna wanna, gonna wanna slip by. There seems to be some kind of button here. I wonder if I should press it. Press the button! Yes! Looks like Panther was able to get out. Gonna wanna head it back up. I think we're gonna wanna go... Uh, we gotta go reunite with Panther, but I don't want to fight the guy, so... When he passes over again, I'm gonna freaking go for it, but... Yeah. Damn it. Okay, move. Move forward, buddy. Move forward. Okay. Now we can go. Alright, Panther. Seriously. Thanks, I would do if we could skull and Mona, Mona out. Yeah, you're right. Alright. Now we gotta roll. Roll! Roll! Woo! We did it! Proud of us, guys. I'm proud of us, gang. 
Although the window's down. Um, let's see. Let's see. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um. Somewhere. How do I plan to get across? Am I gonna have to? I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to do something. Uh. I've, I've played this game before, guys. I swear. I'm just trying to think. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna want to actually, you know, I'm gonna want to get in from the other side, probably. Do I? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, that's it. And there's a painting. Um, let's see. I'm gonna want to hop down. Probably check out that painting. Come on, man. Good position. No, it's not. We can't tackle this on. Uh, I know I have a general idea, but that guy's freaking close. All hell. It scares me. Uh. All right, let's go. There's a little space between the painting frame and the wall. Move the painting. Never imagined there was a button behind the painting. Let's press the button. Good job. Sorry, up and get back. Uh, Ryuji. Talk with me, buddy. Sorry. Thanks, I just got to get Mona out of there. Don't think we'll be able to get him out unless we turn all the latest off. There has to be control room for them. I don't know if it's nearby, though. We just gotta trust them. Call, let's try looking for it. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. Alright, we're gonna wanna. Hmm. Gee, a locked door. I wonder what that means. Um, alright. Thankfully, he ain't walking near here, so we can just get out of there. Oh, ooh, a vent! You know, I had a feeling it was that locked room, but I don't... I, I, I mean, yeah, I found this path all on my own, Ryuji. You don't gotta worry about that. Nothing hey, to Joker. Worry. I can feel it. Here I'm wondering about. I can feel it. Um, I'm gonna want to unlock the door, though. So now we have a quick little shortcut. Yeah. Looks like it's a security whatever on here. Maybe this will let us turn, turn them lasers off. But looks like we need a password to use it. Let's find the password then. No. Are they probably gonna just leave it lying around? What, what are we supposed to do? Look for someone who might know it? I believe what we want to do then is... Ooh. Hey, did you hear about those intruders? Yeah, you mean the thieves sneaking in around in here? I got a call telling me to change the password just in case. And what did you say to? Two? Hello? Huh? I said hello! 07734. If you read the numbers upside down, they spell out the word hello. Is that a little childish? Eh, it should be fine as long as nobody else finds out. It's not like anyone's eavesdropping on us. Anyway, don't forget, when you see the code input, be sure to say hello. Hey. Did you hear that? Sure did. Come on, Joker. Let's say hello to that terminal thingy. I could kill that man. Uh oh, he's on to us. Okay, let's give it a shot. Password should be 07734. Hello! Nice. Those guys did it! I'm saved! Looks like it worked. So wait, let's move let's go grab that stupid cat and get moving. Do, do, do. Now I believe all the powerful enemies have actually moved away. They were just there to to add tension. You know, you could technically take them on, but I don't recommend it. Sorry. I'm sorry. That was very much unlike me. Sheesh. Weren't you the one telling us not to go around touching shit on the exhibit? Uh, that is true. I can't believe I made such a novice mistake, even for solid gold. Something was drawing me to this vase. Hmm. What do you mean? Is it just an ordinary gold vase? I wonder if there's something special about it. Should we take a closer look just in case? I think we should. And I think, actually, I'm going to be smart about this. We're not going to be using this Hua Pao anytime, Hua Po anytime soon. We could always just freaking re-summon it again at the Velvet Room, so... I did not mean to do that, no. I was actually going to get rid of you, Hua Pao. I'm sorry. Because I want to make room for this if this is what I remember it being. Damn it. Wait! What is this? For real? Oh, I see. So that's why I was drawn to it. Joker, catch it! 
I'll explain the rest of this later. Just get after it and attack. Mm. Let's try to Aggie on this thing. Ooh. Uh, Garu? Regent is growing. Groaning. Uh, Zio. Zio. Uh, let's try Aggie again. Um... Let's go a little crazy here. Let's try a uh, physical uh, skill. I keep on forgetting how to switch personas. Let's go for the cleave. Okay, your resistance toward that. I got this, man. Yeah, Ryuji, do it. All right. We have multiple things we could do here. If we kill it, we get a lot of money. You'll see why. But I actually recommend we talk to this thing. My name is Regent. My existence shall become a new part of you. No negotiation required. We get the special little thing. You gain the Regent mask. The purpose of a thief. That trophy has a story. I'm going to explain the story with, again, you still get experience and all that stuff, but, um, yes. yeah. I'll explain the story in a second, what I have with that trophy. That trophy is, uh, I got a bad spot for it. Good, good. That was pretty nice considering that it was your first time running into one. What was that? That, Panther, was a rare shadow that occasionally resides in the pri in pricey items. I call them treasure the demons. They're great. Not only did they give you a lot of experience, they might be useful for your personas too. However, they run very fast, and attacks don't deal very much damage to them. Treasure demons. Breakable objects may contain treasure demons, especially when the security level is high. They may also appear in normal encounters. Defeating them will earn you many experience points. If you convince one to become, become one of your personas, you can use it as a fusion material. However, a treasure demon cannot be used in battle. That trophy, as far as I'm aware, is the only trophy that has an issue like this. It, that trophy is actually bugged. If you have a full list of personas, like if you have eight slot, all eight persona slots filled, and then you, uh, and then you actually recruit that demon and bring it into, or get that persona into your party, the trophy would not trigger. Yeah, that's why I got rid of the Hua Po. This looks usable. Let's take a break, Joker. Yay! And there's a safe room. Let's make those this place so we can come back here later. We're making good progress. I should write something. I'm gonna save again because I don't wanna die. That'd be horrible. 16 hours and 50 minutes. Dang. This is terrible. Thanks for all the help, Joker. I need to make sure I stay focused. Hmm. True. Okay, let's move on. But yeah, that trophy is uh you gotta acquire a treasure demon. And that one's I believe a freebie, so I yes, recommend okay. if you're going for the platinum trophy, I actually recommend you do take care of that. <laughs> The hell? How are we supposed to get past this huge hole in the? Calm down. Look at where the security guard is walking. Ah, it's an illusion. And then we get you. Oh, look at the little guy. You just look at the little babies. They got little. They got little weaves. They got little weaves. Little weaves. Little weaves in the thing. Oh, order changed because of the order I got him. Okay, uh, let's go for the Miragi. Damn. Um, nah, there's no reason. I can just do an Agi. Treasure demons are worth your time to grab. For the most part. I believe they can help really well in fusions. Especially, they can, they can help. They can give you some good stuff. The beautiful rose has thorns, bro. Okay. Can't fake that. Huh? That was uh, a little too easy. Oh my god, the girls' bathroom! Out. Hey, I know we're in a palace, do we, but do we have to go in here? Yeah, of course, on oh, this chest in here, the chakra choker. Um, I believe actually this is actually a very good piece of equipment. I believe, if I, based on the name, I believe this actually heals SP, mana bonus, a choker that helps open up the chakras. Uh. Mana bonus. That is... Increases max SP by 10%. Okay, that isn't what I was thinking of. I, think, I was thinking of... Uh, you get more... You heal a little bit of SP. Um, 
at the end of every battle. The tank class. Man, On's got like that unique dialogue, you know? This is a very cool optical illusion. I really like this. It's I really so like weird. this. Again, this may not be my favorite palace in the world, but uh, I gotta admit, when it, when it gets nice looking, it gets nice looking. And it, it, hey, we even dodge the security just like that. I'm gonna kill you, buddy. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. We do we got a bad Hua Pow in there. We can just do that. Uh, let's go for the Baton Pass and... Let's do Morgana. Why not? I'll just kill you since we can't really knock everyone down. And now we can go for Mr. Ryuji. Ryuji, you can go in here. You can go for the Zio. And now we can go for the Garu. Oh wait, what am I doing? I could have tried the the, the the fray, the nuclear skill I have with the accessory. That's probably why they give it to you. Actually, no, that wouldn't work because they use nuclear skills. Uh, I'm not going to go for the Tetanus. I'm just going to smack you in the face. I'll leave it to Morgana to do the Garu on ya. Nice money and experience too. We are swimming. That's all it takes for me. And that guy spawned over there. I don't know why he spawned, but he spawned. All right, silk yarn, silk yarn. Uh, I know I could, I could probably stop right now. Ooh, hello, woman. Show me your true form. We, I could have stopped a little bit ago, but I actually want to make a lot of progress based on like story progress, because there's stuff. There's a reason why they gave us that tutorial before we walked in uh, today. There's a reason for everything. I do things for a reason. Besides, we're still actually doing really good. Um, I'm gonna shoot you, and I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna go for that all-out attack. I don't think I've really shot a gun with on before, because her... Her gun doesn't go for one enemy. It's like a spread damage. It, like, goes for everybody. Alright. How we do it on cash? I'll probably want to get some better accessories soon. 35,000. That's actually rather good. Oh, I'm heading backwards. What am I doing? Um... And get a break here for no reason, because you know that's how we roll. We break things for no reason. Um, and judging by uh, judging by where we're at, uh, we still have quite a ways to go. Holy crap! Maybe I should back out. I don't know. Uh, is this? Intruders in the second exhi exhibition room. Apprehend them at once. Uh, Crap, let's get out of here fast. Which way's the exit? Um. Why, it's no problem. I could just murder them, unless they're the big scary guys. Other than that, I don't think we can handle them. I ain't scared. I ain't scared of your... Wacky shenanigans in your thirty-dollar haircut. Go for that. I'm running low on SP though, so this could be a problem. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go for on. Gonna hope for the burn so I can get a technical on this guy. Yes. Okay. Good. It works out. It didn't kill him though. Damn, I just shot him in the face. Sure, Muragi. Spur him. Why not? Bum, bam, bam, bam. Ooh, good experience, good experience. And some money, too. Do they infinitely respawn, though? That's the, that's the question, though. They probably do, actually. Gonna go for ya. Um, alright, um, just gonna kill you off, then I'm gonna go for on, gonna burn you, 
and I'm gonna burn you, inflict you with the burn, to go for the technical. There we go. And we could do that. We're just knocking this place out one, be one knocking these guys out one by one. Ain't no problem at all. All right. Okay, so they don't respond. All right. So judging by uh, where we look in, there's a chest in there. Thank good, thank good. Um, just want to check around. That's all. But I believe what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to head up here. Excuse me. I want to head up here. I'm gonna do that and Ooh, interesting. I don't want to hook. Sh I almost said hook shot our way over there, which I wouldn't be technically wrong if I said that. And that takes all that down. Takes out all the electricity. Oh look, the electric thing's de deactivated now. This should let us move forward. Nice work, Joker. And now who's down there? Oh, that's the other room. I got that confused. Whoopsies. Focus. Um, where will this lead us? I don't know. I want to check. Uh, I want to check at oh. this out. Something, something. One of those doors must be way. Oh. Um, that makes me wonder. Hold on. Oh, that is a powerful enemy. I... Do I want to fight that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking the real questions today. So I think we could do about that. Um, we do have that door, though. This door. What could be beyond here? That takes us to... I think right where I want to go, actually. That's actually right where I want to be, but... Hmm. Hold on, let me check. I can feel it. And they're back. Okay. Oh, there's that. Okay. Well... While I go Reggie on these fools... Uh, I'll cut away to killing these guys. While well, I go Reggie on these fools. Hey. Catch you guys Show back in a moment. Alright. Took care of them. Um. Alright. So I'm gonna actually want to head through here, I believe. Yeah, looks like it. Alright. It's got a pretty mean enemy around here. That's for starters. That's the main thing. I'm actually gonna avoid them. I would love to tackle them, but... Um, I just don't have the resources to take care of it. That's a quick Hello. little shortcut, at least. I, I know, on. I know. He's a, he's a bad, awful man. He's coming over here, but there's a door I want to unlock over here, so I want to open that up. What's in here? Treasure. Chest. The relaxed gel. And I believe there's also... There's also more stuff here. Okay, he's gone. I'm gonna wanna hurry. Uh... Where? Uh, hide. Hide. Okay. Whew! I don't wanna die now. Where? There! There we go! Whew! I mean, realistically, I probably could take him! Hey, buddy! Treasure Demon, you make up for... Me not being able to kill the guy. You make up for everything, buddy. I thought that said regret is growing, growing, and glowing. And blah, 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 blah. Whatever, you're weak. You're weak to this. I can knock him over. I already have one, so I don't need. I don't think there's need for two. I can just kill this thing. I can't kill this thing. Oh no. Yeah. I go blah, 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 the whole time. He does. What can I say? I can just shoot this thing to death. We could get a rare one. You sounded creepy like that, Morgana. 
But hey, level ups for everyone. That's what I'm talking about. Power courses through me. Power courses through me. All right. Getting stronger by the second. Mm-hmm. One of Madarame's will seeds. Yeah. Gave me some of them wheel seeds. And I was going to record more tonight. I didn't think it would be taking that long, but my god, it actually took quite a bit. Wow. Red Vanity Seed. Nice. Our first will seed of the palace. Let's keep searching the area. Yeah, and also, we also got a chest. Nice. And there's probably no way for me to get back easily, is there? Well, maybe there is, actually. So what the heck am I saying? I could probably just jump down. In fact, that's the way you're going to get back. Now we can proceed forward. I knew that was a will seed, but I just forgot how to get there for a moment. It's alright. We got the first will seed, though. We're doing good. We're fine. And we're actually getting caught up to where I actually want to be. Might be close by. Whoa. Hold on, Joker. Hold on, Joker. Don't you think that shiny building over there is kind of suspicious? This is amazing. Whoa, it's even gaudier than the rest of the museum. It definitely looks like something important would be hidden away in there. Let's go. Let's go find out. I would love to. But can I grab the safe room first? Whoa. Oh no, Joker, don't you think that shiny building over there? Actually, wait, no, never mind. What am I doing? We'll get that safe room in a minute. In a minute. Whoa. That is cool. That's cool. Again, visually, this place is awesome. What the hell? Are these infrared lasers? There's no way we can get past them. This level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait, that door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Oh, right. There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real world's door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go. I suppose we should listen to Morgana for the time being. Hey, no let's thing. Head let's head back home. Let's head home for today. We can come back here once we patch the, hatch the plan. Honestly, good progress if you know what this palace is all about. Like, technically, I believe we're actually like a third of the way through, which is very nice. Very good progress. Oh, a new safe room. Let's talk to the team. We're going to be able to catch you, return here later. Uh, what do you guys have to say, though, before we start talking? Mm. That's got to be the right way. Leave it to me, Joker. Hey. I wonder what Mona has in mind. Well, well I'll help whatever, however I can. Uh, let's talk to the team. Uh, well, how's our progress? Mm. There's nothing we'll be able to do while that security is in place. Let's retreat for now. But how that, how's that gonna help? Isn't the treasure in the building past here? Yes, but staying here will do nothing for us. We need to re regroup and figure out a way past it. Mm. You're right. We can't change his heart if we don't get past there. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? Yeah, we can't proceed any further. So, uh, let's go. Let's head out. We made some good progress, though. Museum entrance. Alright. Let's head out. Well, then. We should leave and try to, to disengage the... We should try and... We should leave and try to disengage the courtyard security. Return to the real world. Real world! I can't speak, damn it! Damn you, Madarama. You're messing me up. I don't know about you guys, but that looks like a lot of progress to me, especially the will seed. Well, I think we're almost halfway through. Yeah, you see what I mean? We're half. We're almost halfway through. Almost. We're not halfway through yet, but we're getting there. All in a day's work. That's impressive in my eyes. I'm starting to get a faint sense of the treasure near here. Oh. That means we're at least making some progress, right? Hey, what do you want to come in here next? Let me know when you decide. I'll be waiting. to get past that door I don't know 
think there's some kind of off switch somewhere. Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Help me again with the Among Us jokes. I mean, I know he's saying suspicious. That's not Among Us joke, but... Damn it. What has Among Us done for us? Remember? This shack is the basis for Matarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. So? Where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. But don't we want to be open in the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. You understand, don't you, Joker? I think. Uh, I can't hurt to try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. This isn't funny! We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is! Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me! Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? Good luck on. Why can't one of you guys go nude? It ain't what he wants. That's hella gay, but I mean... Well, I guess the fans are okay with that. That's a topic for another day. Then make it so he does! All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. I just smacked my controller on my chair. What am I doing? You make it sound so easy. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. Ugh, God! Fine, I'll do it. For justice! Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, alright? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Ooh. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but uh, will Kitagawa kun agree? I don't know. Just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? You see why I wanted to take care of things right now? Okay. Leave this to me.
I'll get it open right before his very eyes. You get in touch with Yusuke? Mm-hmm. He asked me to come by tomorrow. Aw, oh, yeah. He fell for it. Um, do I really have to do this? Strip for him on! I am not stripping! Man, this is such a pain. We gotta open that door and have Madarami see it, right? Yeah, Morgana said that'll change his cognition. I don't get it. Oh, and one more thing. Let's know if any weird shit goes down and we'll be there to back you up as ASAP. KK, got it. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Madarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady An to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Crossword puzzle? Hmm. Customers in LeBlanc. Customers in LeBlanc will go home after listening to them for a bit. Try, try doing this when you need to do activities in the cafe. Eh, it's not important. Just wanted to show that tutorial. Besides, this episode's running long enough as it is. Jesus Christ, an hour and a half? I mean, I know we had long episodes, but Jesus! Who would have thought Madarama would have done this? Alright! Well, that's gonna do it for today. Today was our first day of doing Madarama's Palace. First day of our infiltration. And I gotta say, it went really well. Now you see why I wanted to get things done as soon as possible because we have a bit of story progression locked behind that door. So we gotta be careful with things like that. Alright, so. With that being said. Next time on Persona 5 Royal. We're gonna be doing some uh, silly stuff. Silly songs with Larry. And on is gonna strip naked. See you guys then.